Hey all buddy, Madison, first time RVers, how you doing? Well, we talked about keeping it fresh here at Carolina Pines since we're here for three months. And boy, do we have a doozy for you. So let's just give you some little hints here. I had to bring my cargo trailer and it is loaded up. Hey Maddie, let's go inside and look too. If you haven't guessed yet, let's show you some more. Let's look down there, Maddie. Empty cabinets and boxes filled. So what have we done? Well, stay tuned and we'll show you. What's our beer choice today? Highland Brewing Company Vanilla Milk Stout from Asheville, North Carolina. If you guys haven't guessed by now, we got a new camper. Sorry it's raining out, but we wanted to get this done before we head home in a little while. But there she is. Our new Cedar Creek Champagne. And we've already decided to name her. Breaking Dawn. We'll stop where we want to. Like I said, we are heading home today, so I'm actually not gonna do a taste test, so we'll close this back up. We'll get to it next week. I just wanted to show you some of the features here on the new camper. Breaking Dawn is like any other RV, any other camper, any other travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever you may have. But there are some features that we have on this camper that we didn't have on the last. So I'm gonna go over those real quick on the outside, then we're gonna step inside. One difference is we no longer have that big, fancy outdoor kitchen that we used to have. Now we have this, pretty basic. Got a small fridge, which is good enough for me. And then we have this arm that swings out that folds down and it came with a griddle that fits on there. We may try seeing if the Blackstone will fit and maybe just give that griddle away. I don't know. We already love the fact that it's got the two awnings here. Even though we do have this slide in the bedroom, there's still plenty of space under this awning because it's about, gosh, easily five foot longer than on the 312. And then we have this secondary awning and I'll show you what that covers in a minute, but that's one of those types that fold in during a windstorm. So that's kind of nice, not have to worry about that. And the reason we have this awning is we got an outdoor TV. It's on a swivel so you can pull it out and swivel it any way you want. We got a lot more storage now. Of course, this is a pass through, but this is actually more than what we had underneath our last camper. And we still got plenty of room. Of course, underneath here, there's storage and um, all the prep for the uh, generators inside there. We got auto leveling. And I already like how the cord hooks up. It's at a 90 degree angle there, so it doesn't put as much strain pulling down. The way I plugged in on the 312 was straight in. So when the cord, that heavy cord would pull down, kind of put some strain on that connection there. We got a power reel for the cord. It's heated underneath here. And then your water system here, which is also heated. We have them install two batteries here, and I'll talk more about that on the inside. It's got six point hydraulic leveling, which is kind of nice. Came with a camera monitoring system. So that way when we're driving down the road, we can kind of monitor what's beside us, what's behind us, and even this front door. It came with slide toppers already installed. For you animal lovers, you got a leash latch for your dog. It also came with this upgraded air ride pin box. Came with a tire monitoring system. That way we can keep track of the tire pressure while we're driving down the road. One of the many features I liked about the Cedar Creek is not only do you get a one piece fiberglass nose cap but you also get a one piece back cap which is kind of nice there's a lot of features I did like about this we loved our grand design hopefully we'll love this one if not just as much maybe even more it also came with the step above step system and an upgraded entry door 
lock with code. And that entry door is actually wider than most entry doors. That way it's going to be easier to get in something if you, I don't know, comes time you want to switch out furniture. So that's actually a little wider door. All right, let's go inside and take a look around. So coming straight in from the front door, got our slide over here with a residential fridge, ice maker, which is great. Little wine cellar there. I'm not sure we'll really use it, but kitchen island is a little pantry obviously some stores like any other camper would have a pretty large four burner oven it is prepped for a dishwasher if we ever want to put one in came with these nice grates that can be rolled up and and stored but you can dry of course dry dishes on there and then over on the opposing slide here we got our little dinette set that comes with a leaf if you want to put it into seat four all kind of lighting bunch of accent lighting and different style lighting throughout there's those two enjoying themselves power recliners pull out sleeper sofa there more cabinets up here a 110 ceiling fan there's your television smart tv which is kind of nice nice cool fireplace something else we like here is the central vac so you can just come in with the broom if you want and sweep up some and kick this open, turn it on that way. Or you can plug in a hose. There you go with the living room and the kitchen room area. And then the back half here, you got your front door, little cabinet there. We'll show you what's inside there soon. And a little spot to sit down, put your shoes and uh, hang coats and things. And then of course some nice accent lighting here on the stairs now let's go on upstairs got your bathroom here on the right and then the left here closet starts and then of course the uh, main bedroom here there she is maddie's in laying on the day bed there watching tv so we have armoires here on the left some dresser storage here little bit of storage under there of course you got the front window TV right behind the TV is a Wi-Fi extender and then a king-size bed and it is a full king cabinet here that is prepped for washer dryer stackable here's a nice little place that you can either use as a small office desk or you know make up things like that and then there's an auxiliary electric heater right back there. So this model is a 38 EBS and it's actually 2021, but it's new from the other 2021s. And they changed a couple things around. They added a window here on the slide above the dresser. The last 38 EBS had a full size chest here, no window here. And it also came with a walk-in closet at the very front here. So halfway through the year, they changed it up, and now you have this little sitting area. What I love, and we did not realize we would like so much, and already a day into ownership, we absolutely love this big window here looking out the front of the RV. I mean, you can sit up here, stick your head in here, and just see the whole campground or wherever you may be camping. And of course, we can keep an eye on old Rocky. In the bedroom, you got reading lights. You can have the standard white light that's nice and bright. Or at night, you can use the blue light. A lot of times, you'll see beds like this is a king size. And you'll see that they want to put some sort of nightstand. So they'll stick a shelf here that'll take up part of the bed. But what ours has here is a shelf up above the window, which I actually like using it last night. I was on my phone. I was able to just kind of put my hand over and drop my phone up there. So that, I actually like that better, I think. And then all the windows come with either a day shade that helps keep out some of the sunlight, but you can still see out, or the, oops, sorry, hit the TV, or the night shade. And then when you want to release it, just pull it, goes back up. Pull it, goes back up. Then you got your view again of course we already started doing a little decorating but again coming up the stairs 
To the right is the bathroom. We love the bathroom. It's black and white, which really looks nice. White cabinets, of course, some more accent lighting down there. Double sink, double mirrors. And a beautiful shower. We love the shower. I mean, look at that drain over there. And then you got a shower head, kind of like you, what you would have at home with a couple different uh, patterns on it. And then some more storage over here. So one of the many things we liked about this unit, besides the size in each area, is came with three AC units, and one of them is a heat pump. So we can use that for heat. And then, like I said earlier, there's that electric heater in the bedroom to supplement it. It'll be good till about 35 degrees, they said. After that, you're going to want to put on propane heat to kind of give it as a, use it as a backup. But when it comes to the fireplace, of course, it is a heat source, an electric heater, basically, with a cool little fake fire in it. But it's pretty cool because you can change colors and things. Matt is going to show what you can do with the light in there. pretty cool we actually decided we like that the best because there's a couple different lights in the flame and then the uh, purple rocks there we're gonna show another little cool feature we liked with the accent lighting over here we have the infinity light I guess they use mirrors or whatever but it almost makes it look like it goes forever up there pretty cool let's take a quick look inside the cabinet here A little bit more, more storage, couple hooks in here, some storage up there. Of course, you have your control panel here where you can do your lights, your heating and air, your slides and your awnings. One thing I was excited about when I heard on the roof is a 190 watt solar panel. So we got your charge controller here to keep track of that. And then we had them install two batteries. So. We can kind of go off grid for a little while, not long, but you know, if we're off grid, we can charge our batteries and things like that. The residential fridge actually runs off its own inverter. So that'll actually still run off battery up too. So that's kind of nice. Again, it's not gonna run off battery for long, but you know, a couple hour road trip, we can keep the fridge going. So you can control the lights from light switches on the wall. You can control the lights from the panel here. And like I said, your HVAC system, your slides, your awnings, or you could download the app onto your phone. So it basically mimics that screen up there. You got your lights, your temperature, and then your awnings and your slides. There you have it, our brand new camper. From all of us the first time RVers, we'll see you soon. We'll be here next week. Hopefully we'll be able to do something fresh and exciting once more. Bye-bye.